Now, the loss of the superstar fashion designer Karl Lagerfeld has opened up the debate of what is glamour. The man who steered Chanel for more than 30 years died yesterday at the age of 85. In 2004, he became the first fashion designer to collaborate with high street clothes store H&M. But one hugely influential online fashion retailer has changed its view of glamour. In the Style is the most followed fashion brand on Instagram with 11.8 million followers. And In the Style says it's going to ban the use of retouched or Photoshop pictures on its website and show its models as they are. Daniel Meadows is a photo retoucher and he's worked for Chanel and L'Oreal and he told me what retouching actually involves. Retouching is basically just post-production of the images that we see in advertising, in magazines, on the billboards that you might see at the side of the road, on bus shelters, and we'll just clean up the shot before it, uh, before it goes to print. And what do you mean, clean up? I mean, what if I had a spot on the end of my nose, for example? Uh, that would be removed. That generally would be, if it was um, an impermanent blemish, that's the kind of thing that would generally be removed, in advertising at least. What about wrinkles? Oh, see, that's the difficulty, isn't it? At the high end of the retouching industry, you will find people, uh, myself among them, who absolutely believe in leaving wrinkles there. I mean, why, why would you remove a part of somebody's character, particularly if you're dealing with a celebrity. Have you been asked to remove wrinkles, either by the model or yes. the client? Yes, yes I have, including by celebrity clients. And honestly, if it's the model's choice, I'm absolutely fine with it. You know, they might cover it with makeup, they might ask for uh, for it to be done in post. And, you know, I'll be happy to do that if it's if it's the model's choice. So apart from the model, who else makes the decisions around which photos are retouched and by how much. I've been looking at some where this 19-year-old beautiful girl has had her thighs reduced. I mean, she was pretty mm. skinny to start with and they've really, really yeah, made her yeah. look much thinner. Yeah, that was Zendaya, wasn't it? I remember the shot. That was appalling. There are a lot of errors being made in my industry at the moment. And I think it's mostly because there's been such an explosion in photography to keep up with social media with these large companies that they've cast a very, very, very large net for retouching talent. And it just means that the standard of work has gone down to such a point that we've seen a lot of mistakes. Now, it's usually, it's funny. You might have seen the kind of errors where a model is missing a leg, you know, or there's a, a floating hand in the shot. That's funny, but when it's, as in the example you pointed out, it's slimmed down to, to that kind of extent. That's not funny, that's just, that's dark. And yet you mentioned social media there. We see, mm. no matter what the industry says, that social media photographs and selfies, young people using filters to make themselves look better, they think, or different, or to, to change their appearance. So clearly, no matter what mm. the industry says, people doing it themselves are up for it. Oh, absolutely, and I think people are entitled to do that. We all have a curated appearance. We all, most of us have a social media online presence now, and whether it's just choosing from your best photographs or applying makeup or putting on your best jacket, we, we, we all curate our appearance online. And if that's giving a photograph a little bit of a nudge, removing a blemish in, in Photoshop after the fact, you know, you, you are individually entitled to do that. And, and that's not something we can, we can ever or should ever try to stop. I think the problem is when that agency is taken away and out of the hands of the subject and those kind of liberties are taken with people's body shapes by art directors, I think that's something Thing that needs calling out. Daniel Meadows, a professional retoucher. Well, Maria Malone is principal lecturer for fashion business at Manchester Metro.